Cosmos.com. I'm Metal Mark here with the one and only Corpse Grinder. How are you, sir? How's it going? Doing very well. You're here headlining the Summer Slaughter. You only get an hour, but how's it been so far? Um, great. You know, I mean, I, look, to be honest with you, I ain't unhappy about only getting an hour. Yeah. I mean, I know that, you know, obviously our fans probably want to see more, and, you know, we usually play longer, but fuck, man. <clears throat> After doing, you know, as many songs as we do a night, you know, normal headlining, an hour is like a breath of fresh air. It helps. Yeah. It, you know what I mean? I mean, this is fucking tough enough as it is, so, yeah, we're uh, happy. I'm, I can tell you, I'm happy to put an hour. Yeah. <laughs> be hard with the whole catalog just choosing those certain songs sure, especially with the yeah. new stuff with only an hour it's it's tough but you know i mean uh you know some records get excluded but i mean look we, we, you know, the thing is we tour a lot so yeah. we're back all the time and and even if even if we were playing longer we're still not going to cover every song that everybody wants to hear there's going to be songs left out no matter what so um you know uh fucking deal with it <laughs> now but uh you know it's just it is hard it's yeah it, there's a lot of songs that we've had out for a while. And, and trust me, we do hear people yawn for songs. And, you know, when, we, when we're talking, you know, to people outside the, you know, club and whatever, we're signing stuff, people are asking if we're playing this before the show or after the show, why didn't you play that? We definitely, when we hear a certain song a lot, we start, you know, milling around, hey, look, we got to bring this song back yeah. or, or we got to play this song. So we definitely listen to the uh, people. Very cool. Well, the people are loving the new album, Torture. A lot of people are saying that this is the best Cannibal Corpse album ever, period. How does that Absolutely. make you feel? Oh, great. You know, I mean, <laughs> after so many records, you know, we're, uh, usually that's, we're, we're, we're happy because it's usually not the case, you know. Yeah. I, mean, not, I don't think people, you know, hate anyone's 12th record. I mean, geez, how many bands, you know, are lucky enough to yeah, do 12 you, records, yeah, you know, or whatnot, but, um, it's definitely something that we're, uh, you know, proud of. If, you know, we've been really getting a good response from it. And a lot of people, like you said, they're saying it's the best one we've ever done. Sure, there's going to be people that see this and go, fuck that, you yeah. know, but you know what? Fuck you, you know? No. <laughs> I'm being mean today. I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, look, that's that's everyone's opinion. And obviously, you know, there's albums of bands that, that I, you know, other people would say that they're, that's not their best album, and I would disagree. And if people like this new album, this is what they think is the best one, then, you know, hey, great. I mean, you know, we obviously think we, we, we put out a good one. I mean, you know, it's hard for me to sit here and say which one I think is our best one, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different factors involved. I could say, you know what I mean, things from my point of view, but, you know, that doesn't, you know, set the whole band and, you know, it's doing good and that's all we could ask for. And sure, of course we feel great about that. If that's what people think, after 12 records that we're still, you know, um, kicking ass, you know, I mean, you know. I mean, it is. I mean, it's really rare though that people, you know, there's a lot of people that cling to the old school. Oh, yeah. you know? I mean, they 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 like the older records of a band, but I mean, I think since we've had a consistent fan base for all these years, that it obviously shows that you know uh, we're we're writing um, stuff that people like, and and you know we're writing stuff that we like too. And that's the main thing, you know. Yeah. We're, we, we write songs we want to hear, and, and obviously people agree with us. <laughs> It's hard, you know, to have five albums, but have twelve. Is that one of the main reasons why you think y'all been able to be so successful all over these years? Well, I mean, you know, look. Obviously, there's hard work involved, you know, yeah. uh, and then you know there's sacrifice involved with the touring and whatnot. But also on the same side, there's you know the people that buy the records, you know, the fans. They buy the albums, you know, they come to the shows. And, and they keep us, you know, going. I mean, obviously, if we did not have uh, successful tours and whatnot, 
um, we couldn't afford to be out here because, you know, everyone has bills to pay. I think that's one thing some people don't realize is, like, they just assume that everyone's making in the band a million dollars a year, and it's, hey, fuck, no, and yeah. even close, no way, you know, if I was making a million dollars a year, shit, man, you know, I have my own boss. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I mean, you know, like, I think people just, you know, they don't, they, they lose sight, uh, they don't really see things, not lose sight, but they don't see things like, um, you know that that we see they're not in the band so they don't understand how things work you know everyone just assumes you're in a band you have records out so you're making lots of money and sure i mean this is our job you know if you want to call it that yeah. but uh you know if we um weren't making as much money then we wouldn't be out as much because you know we have to you know make extra income you know to pay bills and things so you know i mean look 12 records still going you know, still working, I guess, but them 12 records, uh, part of, you know, the reason for it is, you know, is the hard work that we put in and the touring and obviously the, the fans coming out, you know, they're, they're, you know, look, if they, if nobody comes to see your show, then exactly what I said would happen, yeah. would happen. So, you know, I always want to give credit to them because, you know, without them, we're, you know, we're not here, you know, you could play, we could book as many shows as we want, but if people <laughs> yeah. uh, don't show up, then they're going to stop wanting us to come around, you know, promoters and things, so. You know, uh, you know, a big part of our success is that, you know, I think because we're dedicated, we haven't really strayed, you know, very far from, you know, from the style, the original style of the band. I mean, I mean, well, I guess it's night and day more like as far as the playing wise, you know, from eating back to life to now. Yeah. But I mean, we're still a death metal band. I mean, I think we've gotten heavier and faster and more brutal. So, uh, you know, but we haven't sold out. Yeah. And anyone that says we have is just an elitist fucking cocksucker that can fucking kiss my ass, you know. Yeah. Because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yo, okay, you don't have to like the style that we're playing now as opposed to the original albums. It's changed, sure. But don't say we're not death metal band. Yeah. Because that's them's fighting words. You know? Damn right. Well, probably wouldn't fight over it, but I'd tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> and more than likely, you're not going to do a goddamn thing about it. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, there are people out there that look like that. So, I mean, you know, whatever. But look, let's forget about that. The fans are, are a big part of the reason we're here. I mean, yeah. just this say that for a third or fourth time you know I mean like I said we sacrifice they come out you know and they fucking look feel, feel how hot it is out there you know feel how hot it is inside the club you know yeah. I mean when you're on stage busting your ass man the kids are suffering just as much as you are you know they're moving around and, you know we're just kind of standing there banging our heads <laughs> and singing and trust me it ain't that's not the easiest thing in the world but they're all fucking slamming around running around you know so it's tough man look we're all in this together yeah, and uh, you know it's you know I think we give they give and so you know we're uh, we're here because you know we want to be and because they want us to be. <laughs> I can't let you, I can't end this interview without bringing up September 17th because your Broncos are coming here on the Monday night game. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, how do you see your season going with Peyton and obviously all the changes? Well, um, I see that game being like, you know, uh, Super Bowl 33. You know, we I'll stomped their ass. Hey, no, don't do that. They did. They kicked the fucking I, I, ass. I don't remember that at all. Oh, I do. I think y'all made it up. No, I think the Dirty Bird got you know uh, got, oh. its, got its wings clipped that day. That's worse than Rise Up. No, <laughs> no. Well, you know what? Look, with the Broncos, obviously the, the season in, in most people's minds starts with Peyton Manning and ends with Peyton Manning. Is he going to be healthy? Um, you know, they have some good young receivers. You know, I think you know um, it's. Uh, I haven't really kept up with him as much, you know what I mean, like in the off season because we've been touring a lot. But yeah. I mean, well, I probably have more than I really think, you know. <laughs> I, to me, it's like if I don't know every fucking detail, I'm, I feel like I don't know enough. But um, obviously, starting in with Peyton Manning, if he's healthy, you know, they got some decent receivers, you know. And I think with him being in there, and this is no offense to Tim Tebow because you know what, I like Tim Tebow, and if they would have kept him and used him in some way, it, they would have been just in. in because if you give him two or three passes and he makes them, mm. and of course that's the question. But if John Elway would have worked with him and he and he was reliable, you know, you can rely on him to to do like a wildcat thing where he could throw it. Look at the pass he threw to Demarius Thomas in, in the in the uh, in the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one of the great plays, you know what I mean, in Broncos history. You know, I mean, outside of any plays, you know, when they smash Atlanta and when they upset Green Bay, haha. <laughs> um, but uh, 
but with that said, that's a great moment in, in playoff history. You know, that was you know the first like overtime game with the new you know rules or whatever. And uh, and trust me, I was going insane, and I wish <laughs> they would have tried to work something out with him. But he wants to start, so he probably would end up being unhappy, even yeah. though he's like this super nice dude. Um, but with that said, um, they could have they could do things, you know, with the guys they have now with, with Peyton Manning, and with same with, the, with Tim Tim Tebow and all he. Saying he's cool, dude, and I wouldn't mind kept having kept him. Peyton Manning will keep that defense off the field. They'll he'll sustain yeah. drives yeah. more than you know, Tebow was was able to do. You know, and in all fairness, Tebow, you know, two years. I mean, what do you, what do you want? You know, yeah. I mean, whatever. So you know, give the guy a fucking break. Um, but you know, Peyton Manning's a veteran. As long as he's if he's even ninety percent of what uh, of what he's um, what he was. Then they'll be fine. He'll keep the defense off the field. Once we get a couple guys back from the suspensions and shit, yeah. then uh, I think they'll be totally. Uh, I think they'll be fine. I, I and, and that division's pretty weak. You know, True. Chargers lost a lot of guys. You know, the Raiders, the Raiders. they're always always up and coming, but then they always <laughs> you know blow it. And um, and uh, you know, Chiefs, Chiefs are kind of like around where the Raiders are at, but they got yeah. problems. You know what I mean? So. I think the Broncos have the best team, you know, and I don't, I mean that like really, I think they have the most talent on on their team than any of the other teams. In a weak division, they should be able to win it by, by a game or two, you yeah. know, make the playoffs. And then, you know, hey, look, the Giants proved it, you know, proved it, proven it better than anybody. All you got to do is get in. Yeah. The LA Kings, you know, in hockey, I know it's a different yeah. sport, but all you got to do is get in and you never know what's going to happen, you know. Everyone amps it up and, 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 and it gets more fired up in the playoffs than, than anywhere else, so... You know, we'll see. I'm interested to see. You know, I think their defense still has. You know, it was was not bad last year, and just got got really tired near the end of the season because of the fact that you know they couldn't. They, they were constantly yeah, on, there on the field. Good. You know, I mean Tebow and 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 their and the Broncos offense wasn't running right, and Peyton Manning ain't gonna have it like that. Mm-hmm. Come on, that guy. I mean, let me say this, man. And I'm not. I'm not trying to rag out anybody, um, but uh, you know, Marvin Harrison was a great receiver. Reggie Wayne, let's see. Let's see how he is now. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Like, now without Peyton Manning, let's see if Peyton Manning is someone that like Michael Jordan that makes everyone around him better. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, I don't think that Decker and, and Demarius Thomas were bad as, as it is, but I think now they'll have bigger seasons. Yeah. Obviously, with a, with, with a more pro, just pure quarterback passing the ball to him, if he's able to, and as long as he's healthy, and, you know, and another big question, too, which I'm kind of forgetting, is, is the line, which obviously – is what is part of Peyton Manning being healthy. Yeah. So if he's healthy, if he's playing even ninety percent, even eighty five percent of what he used to be, with with the, we got some decent receivers, we got a decent running game, and if, and the defense being fresher, not being on the field as much. Super Bowl against the Falcons for revenge. Kill him, <laughs> stop. Hey, the Falcons <laughs> shouldn't be bad either. You know what I mean? They got. Yeah, I, I mean, come on, man. I mean, this is Matt. This is Ryan's turn. Time to you got to do you it. You got to step it up. He's got to do it. You got you've you've been here long enough. You got to step it up. You yeah. know, I look. I don't hate the Falcons at all. <clears throat> I don't mind them at all. But you know, obviously they play the Broncos, so of course I hated them that day. But I really, <clears throat> I don't hate them in general. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like in that division, I hate the Buccaneers. And we live in Tampa. Yeah, true. I fucking hate the Buccaneers, <laughs> man. I'm telling you right now. I do not like that's one team I just don't like. Look, I hate the Raiders. I mean, come on, the Broncos, man. Yeah. I hate the Raiders. But I rooted for the Raiders when they played the Buccaneers in the oh, Super Bowl. Wow. Oh, man. No, I, man, f- I did not want to be in that town. <laughs> that fair weather fucking, you know, town. Okay. And I know everyone hate Tampa going to hate me now, you know. But you know what? Listen, man, I'm just telling you what I, how I see it. You know, I, I have lived in Tampa for, geez, man, since when I got in Cannibal. Permanently, permanently live there, and I know lots of people that are, you know, uh, my wife, her her business partner, you know, works in a salon with her. She's been a diehard Buccaneers fan for as long as I've known her, and 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 I know since before I knew her. Yeah. And Scott Burns, who used to do, you know, all the Cannibal records, mm-hmm. he was a Bucks fan when they stunk. You know what I mean? Back in, you know what I mean? When I first met him, you know what I mean? In like ninety ninety one. You know what I mean? So there's plenty of people there, but and and, and in all fairness. Tampa is a city that's in Florida in general is basically there's a lot of imports there. Yeah. It's not a, and most people aren't from there, you know. Um, they're not born and raised there. So and like if you look at like you know the devil the devil raised or the Rays now. Um, <clears throat> you know I'm an Orioles fan because I'm from Baltimore and uh, I went to Orioles game there not too long ago and the Orioles have stung for a while. They're actually not they're doing good this year. Mm-hmm. You know actually 
But they sung for as long time, and we went uh, to an Orioles game. There were more Orioles fans than Rays fans, and this is when the Rays had kind of first come out. Yeah. But they'd been around long enough that well, you got a team now. Let's support them. But the Yankees have been there for so long. They have Legends Field right across yeah. the street from where the Bucks yeah. play. So I'm trying to be nice, <laughs> give a little bit of niceness back to Tampa Bay or whatever, you know, for lack of a better term. Um, just, but it is kind of fair weather in some ways. I think maybe, maybe most people that are there. They have the team from where they grew up, and yeah. then they'll if the Bucks do good, they'll root for them. I just can't because you know I grew up in Baltimore, and through a long story, I became a Broncos fan, <clears throat> and we didn't have a team, and then we got the Ravens. So, you know, I mean, it's kind of yeah. the same way. I don't blame anyone for that, but dude, it's still man, <clears throat> fair weather. They couldn't sell out fucking you know playoff games. That's just come on, man. Yeah. And times are tough, but enough. You can hit me all you want, Tampa. I don't care. I still like living there. There you go. <laughs> we just played, we were just there yeah, uh, two yeah, yeah. days ago, and it was great. You know, it was a crazy incident that happened at the masquerade. You know, yeah, um, right. well the Ritz now. You yeah. know, or Ritz then masquerade then Ritz again. Who knows? You know, but uh, you know, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have been so mean to Tampa, but you know what? I don't like any of Tampa teams. And and another thing too. I'm a Capitals fan. They're in the same division with the Lightning, so <laughs> fuck off. You know, um, the Orioles and the Rays, same division. Fuck off. You know. The, the 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 Buccaneers thing, I've been there for so long before they had any of the other teams. Yeah. So, you know what I mean. And I just I just I never hate hated them as much as I did like you know later on. You know, I probably when they started getting good and everybody started rooting for them. I'm like, now you root for them. Yeah, you know, now true. everybody's oh, I've been a fan forever because I remember after the Broncos won their uh, after they stomped the Falcons. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> After they stomped the Falcons, uh, the Broncos played in Tampa, and Brian Slagle from Metal Blade, yeah. Broncos fan, yeah. he he took uh, Paul, our old guitar player Jack Owen, and myself to the game, and we were like, I don't know, man, maybe ten rows back from the Broncos end zone, oh, wow. watching them warm up, and they were already on three though, because they always <laughs> retired and yeah. whatnot. They had Brian Greasy playing playing for him, oh, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> I remember just after the game because the, the you know the Buccaneers beat them, and just people talking all this trash to me, and I was like. Man, two rings, all right? What You motherfuckers ain't won nothing around here, you know? And you're talking to me, oh, but, you know, and you probably weren't even, and I said, you, I was yelling at some guys, you know? They're here heckling me, I'm heckling back. You probably didn't even like them until now when you'll get their new uniforms, yeah, and now, yeah. now you think they're, they're you know, they're, now they're better, now you want to root for them. And, I've been a fan forever. That's what, well, and I don't know you, so how can I, <laughs> no, you haven't, you know? But, I mean, it's like, really? I remember driving past that, that stadium, they were playing Minnesota, you know what I mean? They were playing, you know, Green Bay when they were in an old division with those, and you know they were playing whoever, and it was just, you know, I saw them in, the, in an old sombrero. They played the 49ers and shit. It was, it was not packed. Let's put it that way. Yeah. You know, I'm on a real bad tirade against poor Tampa Bay. Yeah. That's our adopted home. I shouldn't say these things, but you know what? I, I'm honest. When it comes to the sports stuff, I'm honest. Yeah. I don't hate the city. I, I love the city, but you know what? I don't like the bugging you. Sorry. There you go. No offense to um. You know, oh yeah, offense because I hate him. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be harsh oh, when I go back to awesome. Tampa. <laughs> it's gonna be harsh when I go back to Tampa. People are gonna be like, "You piece of shit." <laughs> no, everyone that knows me knows like how I feel. About yeah. me. I'm, I'm, I'm not shy when it comes to fucking sports. I'm not gonna sit there and go, "I want to say all the nice things." No, it's fuck no, man. You exactly. know what? I fucking hate the Raiders. You know, doesn't mean I hate the city they play in at all. I, you know, it's great, but I don't like the team. You know, yeah. obviously. Come on, it's fucking arch enemy. You know what I mean? This is true. I mean, you probably hate the Buccaneers too. I hate the Saints worse. Well, yeah, I would. I would assume so. <laughs> you know, but Ben from Gohor gives me shit all the time. It's awful. Oh yeah, no, but I mean, like, you know, I don't hate the Saints. I don't hate the fact there's teams like you. There's some teams like oh, I don't mind them, and there's teams who just like yeah. one or two players that maybe said something, you know, and you're just like, man, that dude's up, you know, or this or that, and you know, it's just no different like this. You know, there's a lot of people who are gonna fucking hate me now <laughs> in Tampa. Let's see this, you know. Well, but I know everybody there, so, you know, you know, if, if you got something to say, cool. There's obviously a lot of people here that yeah, are big fans awesome. of yours, so yeah, yeah. I'll let you get ready for the show. Thank you very much for taking Appreciate out the time. It. Torture is out right now. Buy all 12 albums. Fuck them. Just get the bucks. <laughs> Cheers.